I've never seen anything like this. This, this, this is, I don't want to sell this. I, oh, I saved course. this metal, this is dark. You sure you want to even metal. sell this stuff? Today we're giving away the Selena Gomez record, but there's a surprise. Besides the record, there'll be something else. Yeah. Hey guys, Pete over here. So first I want to start off. I receive, received first two postcards from you guys, and one is actually very, very creative. That came from a local Katty. This is made out of wood. Thank you so much. Very cool piece. She's got a little birdie on here. This is all solid wood. So the way this is gonna work now, number one on it, and then also I'm gonna take a cap, a bow, um, bottle cap, and I'm also gonna put number one. And that one is corresponding with that, and it goes into this big jug. Number two came from Terry. Terry is from St. Saint Joseph, Missouri. Very cool. That one's gonna get number two. And number two is going on the cap and inside the jar. So guys, keep sending them. Now I also have a spot that I'm gonna be hanging them right on the other side of this cabinet. And uh, yeah, make sure when you're sending them, like both of these, they have phone numbers on them. Include your phone number, include your email also if you can. That way, when we do the drawing, it's an easy way for me to reach out to you guys. So let's hang them up. All right, so this is the area I'm gonna be hanging these up. This is the first one. Just using a little bit of scotch tape and it goes over the string, just like that. And there we go. And as they keep coming, I'm gonna be keep hanging them and dropping the caps into the jar. Love it, guys. So make sure you watch till the end today because today we're giving away the Selena Gomez record but there's a surprise besides the record there'll be something else so watch till the end so me and Ruby are hanging out today outside and she's uh, she's so happy this whole week this whole week guys it's been insane it's been so nice and warm three days in a row we are having 80 degree weather which is kind of unusual to have for such a long stretch here in Chicago land area in the middle of April but we are loving it but we are standing here also outside right by the signs I want to show you guys this guitar was installed six months ago before winter hit and everybody was saying it's never gonna survive or somebody's gonna steal it well guess what it's still here nobody took it and it's still in great condition believe it or not uh, obviously the LP records the, the covers from LP records they faded out you know from the Sun like it's supposed to say the doors here but the guitar it's still in great condition uh, and I also finish off I also finish off a couple uh, more windows here they were not done before the winter because I did not have the signs and now I got the signs we filled them up and they look pretty cool and I love this sign in particular this is my favorite sign, definitely vintage, definitely porcelain, West Town's building material and fuel. And she's very vocal today, yes. Are we gonna fly? Are we gonna fly? So yeah, this came out pretty cool, I like it. All the windows are now completed and we are enjoying it, right? We are enjoying this weather, yeah. We're gonna dance, you're gonna dance? No, no music. What can oh, I do sir, for you, how sir? How are you today? Good. What's going on? I got me a poke lately. You ever see one of these? <laughs> Actually, I did. These are pretty cool, ain't yeah, they? The Actually, the polka style ones. Yeah. Yes, they're made by the Polk Furniture Company yeah. and for the surfers, so you can stick it into the uh, the ground. I'm actually here on a rescue mission for my family. I got hurt at work, or not at work, at home. I've been out of work. My gas <laughs> got shut off. My electric got shut off. 
won't take charity, can't take a loan if I can't pay it back, but I've been playing music all my life. I got a whole house full of equipment. I brought you the most interesting things that you might not have 100 pieces of yet. So, I mean, I, I, I'll make you an offer on it, but... No, I mean, I got other stuff. So anything you don't want, I will just take back. I just want to show you some stuff and see if it's anything you might, okay. might okay. be interested Just so you know, we don't do loans here. We just no, strictly I don't buy and sell. I'm, you know, I'm, so. I'm liquidating, selling. Okay. I'm. You know how you know, one bite at a time. I figure just one little piece of my music and maybe I can get lights turned on, you know, sir? All right, bring some stuff in. Let's Absolutely. see what you got. Yes, yeah, sir. Let's see here. Yeah, that's, if nothing else, it's interesting. Right, right. <laughs> right? Ready to play I had to tune just a little while ago. Oh, I'll put it quick. I got the coolest stuff here, man. The coolest stuff. I'm actually kind of surprised this thing is all over the place, but 150 bucks, 120, 100, 130. Yeah, we had one of these. Yeah, we had one. I think he's interested. You, you want to do? Oh, well, we haven't purchased it yet. Oh, sorry. Don't sell it before we buy it. Oh, yeah, sorry. Shh, shh, shh. All right. Actually, I had to get this out of the way. American DJ, DJ facade. Okay. The so news, I got a light, too. I don't know if that's anything that would work for you, but this is blocking everything else in, so. Yeah, I don't even know if I can actually test this. This probably goes with the sound of music. Oh, uh, no, you can turn it on and just put it to auto. Just put it to auto? Yeah, yeah. That's usually how I ran it. There's different okay. settings. You can do it to the sound of music or different settings to it. Absolutely. Last time I worked, people danced all night. <laughs> I'll keep going. All right. Like I so said, whatever you're not interested, I'll throw it back in the car. It's not that old. They still make this, you know, the... The Swarm FX, I mean, it's been around forever. It's been around forever, I remember. Not just that fan makes it sound like it's an old style, you mm. know. There you go. It's going through some kind of... Look at that. Thank you. Uh, You're welcome. Thank here. you, guys. A couple of drums. Uh, some bongos. I'm not sure exactly what you call that style, bro. Yeah. There's usually two of them that go like this. Oh, also, is that what it know? is? I've had this one for ever. I don't even know. Okay. Okay. So I'll be honest with you, this facade, I'm not going to be interested oh, in. Can I leave it right here for right now? Because I can't now, get yeah. the right. Yeah, sure, then I'll sure. take it with. That's fine. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely, sir. I have a very, very old, I think it's maybe 40s, lap steel. I have a very old mandolin. The case is just cash, but the mandolin's just beautiful. I think this might be 50s or 60s. I got a more recent white fiddle. Mint condition. Just needs to be very strong. This is an oldie. Yeah, I got. I kind of pulled it up. I'm not quite sure, but the model, I saw one just like it. It was like 1940s, it was exactly. Hmm. I know you got to make money, sir. I know how this works. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Yes, sir. I know. <laughs> a lot of people don't understand. No, so. no. I was, I was I actually did a lot of reselling. My dad was a resale king. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to overload you with everything. A few more items out there. This man is just beautiful, too. It's an older one, too. I think it's a 60s. The case is trash, but the man is in pretty good shape. Yeah, she's still intact. Yeah, not too bad. Older for sure. Harmony. Mm -hmm. And it smells old too. Yeah, oh, they do. You know, these, these, these particular instruments have been sitting in my basement for many, many, many years. This is not the stuff we actually play, you know? <laughs> yeah, this is the fiddle. White, which is the, you know, not, not very common, I don't think. I think there are actually extra strings in the rosin and whatnot. All the parts here are just that the strings kind of popped off it. I don't think there's a in this mandolin. Yeah, I don't think there's a nick in that thing anywhere. I bought it about many years ago for one of the kids and they never picked it up. So it's been sitting in the case. Yeah, looks like it hasn't been used at all or if it was very little. Yes, sir. 
Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Is okay. that okay? You got yeah, my sure. Phone? sure. All right, let's go. This is an old silver tone guitar, but the only thing is I put it in a case. That's my case for my other guitar, so I won't. It's not just the guitar only. So you want the case back? Yes, right? please. Yeah. yeah, and I've got some other ones that I put in cases and unpacked other guitars. So I want to make sure they were safe when I got here. I think that's a sixty something, maybe. I know it take a little time to research this stuff too. You gotta know the value of everything, right? Even yourself. Yeah, it's you know, it's it's easier because of the internet, so we can look up a lot sure, of stuff. There's absolutely. no way I'm an expert on everything. No, no, no. You know, so. I'm sure you're pretty versed in it, though. <laughs> You've probably seen a lot coming through here, haven't you? Yeah, sure. Every day something new, man. Every day. Beautiful. Yeah, my friend told me about you. I mean, I, I told him I can sell this stuff online, but. I'm going to be without electricity for a few weeks trying no to way. get here the money. I don't know how quick things go, man. So I figure let's come talk to you. I'll take what I can get and thank you God for it. <laughs> yeah, it's got the full stand. stand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a full. I don't know, maybe they're putting it upside down. I thought that was supposed to go that way. but Yeah, the drum's in great condition. Yeah, still decent. Yes, sir. Keep going. Yes. This and also all these ones, I'm, I need to take the cases back. I'm so sorry. I don't. No, it's okay. If we so agree, over straight up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If we agree on a, on I unpacked a bunch of guitars, laid them all on over the bundle, place. Then. I did not want to bring these. Out. A Dobro. Yeah, and that's an old one too. That is an oldie. Yeah, I didn't want to try to bring in what everybody else does. <laughs> Thought I had a better chance. It's been a long year since we had a resonator coming. Something is floating in there, but... Shows little wear, but you expect that for being, you sure. know, 60, 50, 50 60, 60, 60 years, years old. old. Yeah, yeah, I agree. This, I, I have no idea what kind of value this thing is. It's a quart, left-handed, electric. Oh, wait, is that something? Nobody in my family is left-handed. <laughs> it's got to be worth something. A cup of coffee or something. I don't know. It could be worth more than I know. I don't know nothing. My Never had one, so I don't know. I my brother-in-law went and bought a left-handed guitar, and man, it was what year is this, you think? to teach him. I don't I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't even know. Made in Korea, so. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't know if it's even worth the firewood, but yeah, this thing came. I don't even know where it okay. came from. I'll look at that. I'll look at that. Okay, I'll, I'll, and I'll I do look that one up. more pieces. Okay. Here we have a five string and a six string banjo. That is the five string. Okay. Uh, yeah, case back. You want the case back yeah, though? All the guitar all cases. Of them. Just guitar cases. Anything oh, else one. I don't need. This one got a little bit rough on the back, huh? Yeah, Most that's what it. happens when you wear a belt buckle. I always padded the back of my guitar so that wouldn't happen. I just put something on there to keep it from, because yeah. I was like wearing a big belt buckle. <laughs> so I told him 100. He's really pushing for 90 here. Come on, man. Come on, now I got to let up on that. All right, all right. This is what we look. This is what we're going to do. A couple little things. We'll flip a coin. You can buy it now for 100. Or we flip a coin, and I'll give it to you for 80. If you win, if 80. I win, you give me 120. Or you can buy it now for 100. We'll flip a coin. Just go ahead. Tails or heads? What do you want to do? <laughs> Jesus, man. You can either get this for 80 bucks. Okay. You pick the side. What is that? What is the side? It's just my coin. It's a Polish coin. I just put green and, and red on it green. so you can see it. Green is head? Green, oh, yeah. green is head. Okay. What do you want? No, you. I'll pick? Yeah. You're gonna flip? Yeah. Okay. I want tails, so red. 120, my friend. Hi, Timmy. <laughs> it's a special coin. No, yeah. I'm, I'm just kidding you. You flipped it. This is my man. son, Freddie. Hey. How you doing? How are you? You Peter, know what? Nice I'm just watching you, you on this YouTube. Is an, yeah? This is an empty violin case. Okay. I will give it to you. If Appreciate you got it. violin, somebody want to carry it on the case, sell it for five bucks. All right, okay. I'll take a dollar for it. Whatever you want, man. It's just, okay. It ain't going to okay. ever do me any okay. good. 
Uh, got a music you. stand. Yep. You're welcome, man. All right, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Simple okay, music so stand. And then I know just because things are old doesn't make them valuable, but yeah. this is kind of interesting. You're right. I should probably have gloves, no? I, I've tried to keep it. Uh, I, I, I've had it for many, many years, and I kept it it's sealed in this to it's try to preserve it. Burger. It's a New Testament. I think it's 1869. Uh, it says here 1870. Okay. Yeah, though, I yeah. think it was printed in 69, it says in there. Yeah, so. Like I said, I know just because it's old, it doesn't make it valuable. Look at me, I'm old and I ain't all that valuable anymore. <laughs> Not as so, much as I used to be. Frank, this one you know, is. Alcohol is one of those things where it becomes more valuable. As there it you is. go. This yeah. one is much older. Okay. So this one I probably should definitely have gloves on. These, I don't know nothing about. I just knew to keep it protected for all these years. I've had it in that bag sealed. I made sure. Collection for Island Soldiers. 1646. London. Price of right, kings has on birth 1646. Now the question is: Is it real? Is it original? Is it yeah? Is it original? I you know, no first idea. print. You know what I mean? So, yes, sir. I mean, it looks really worn, but I think they're probably good at making it look worn. I know it's been in well, my family listen, for over a hundred years. E even oh, if it is only yeah. like, not from 1600, even from 1800s, it could look already you know, at this condition. You know what I mean? It came from my grandfather, and I heard it came. I'm not sure, but I heard it came from his parents or something like that. Or so. To be honest with you. Uh, I don't know. I would have to spend a little bit of time on this to do some sure. research. This could be, you could have yeah. something here. See? Okay. It's very fragile. You can tell it's. Been I shouldn't be probably even touching the it, way I'm touching. It this. wasn't in plastic until I got it, and I've so, had it probably 35 years in plastic. But I don't even know so if you know. should have it like that in a plastic because sometimes it might cook a little bit like that. Really? When when, when you know, I so. really don't know nothing about this stuff. These were my grandfather's. And I thought that was kind of interesting, and that's pretty interesting. So I don't know if they're worth anything. They're old, I know that. My grandfather Licensed was on the chauffeur. USS Waldron in World War II. He wow. was there when the Japanese surrendered, man. He stayed right there and watched it. Pretty cool. Unbelievable. That's history for Good sure. Good man. You know, I, uh, I got a 72 He definitely strap. got my attention. Is The question is, can we yeah, make a deal? Yes, can sir. we make a deal? Okay, th this 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 device scares me. I'm not sure exactly what this is. It's. I was trying. To, it looks like it's it's like a almost a. It's a set. A calendar. Set is my grandfather Stanley. Oh, okay. Stanley Edward Turner. So this His is, name is on there. This is yeah. It is some kind right of calendar. Right, is a calendar of some sort that they must have used back then, right? You keep it in your pocket and having like a calendar on the wall like we have now yeah, on our phones, so, uh, and you turn it. So, you know what I think they use this? I think he used it on the six, ship. Six year calendar. Okay. I think and the date on this is yeah. here from 1946 so to 1951. Yeah, World War II. Right? Interesting. Yeah, because Pearl Harbor was 45. So he had that on the USS Waldron with him, and that's how he I kept track of his days. I've never seen anything like this. This, this is, I don't want to sell this. I, I oh, saved his medals, his dog. You sure you want to even sell this stuff? I, you know what? This I I kept it. No, no, no. Let me tell you something, sir. I'm ready to let go of that. I kept the personal things that really meant to me and my grandfather. I would never sell his medals, his dog tags. I have things that were very personal between me and him. He gave my first job at 13 years old, and it's actually on the, yeah. I think I got it upside down. No, so this 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 I I wouldn't have brought it here if I wasn't willing to let him go. Right now, taking care of my family is much more important than holding on to some memory. You know? So this is research. Well, in this you pull it out or something on the back too it's uh, just looked interesting you know it's old <laughs> so like from world's fair you see stuff all the time now on the other hand something like this i gotta look it up i never seen it yeah. i don't even know what it's worth or what sure. could possibly no i knew you know. that i i was hoping so. you'd have some time because i know this stuff uh, you know you gotta know the value of things you can't just make an offer all right, right you gotta give me a few minutes i'll give you okay you need my walk around a little bit yeah I d actually i do want to look at a few things and, uh, and let me spend a few minutes on this see what we can dig out and see if we can come up with a number. And I'll tell you what, um, when before I leave, I want to show you a couple of things that I have at the house. My more my more high value items that I believe. Okay. <laughs> this was all the you know more interesting oddball stuff. I think this is a truly like a museum piece. Okay. That belongs, you know, with it's very hard even from that era. Do you think I might do good with something like that online? Is there, is there people interested in that? Or if it doesn't have a monitor, maybe I could donate or something? Or? It's very hard to say. Okay. I'm in, in we were in Ireland, I bet you we'd know, right? Well, 
just because it's it's written for the Ireland king back in the day, blah blah blah, doesn't mean a whole lot. What it means is it's just old and right. overall it's not in a bad shape, the pages. Right. right. The bonding it is falling kinda apart, sure, you sure. know, it's, it's very it's, rough. Yeah, that's what you, you need to see somebody who's really into this stuff. Do you There's a couple anybody? shops in a city, you gotta go to Chicago. Okay. Um yeah, I'll take any recommendation. There is there is a place on Milwaukee and Division. Okay. Um, I would have had to. I'm, before you leave, I'll look it up yes, and I'll sir. give you their name. I would name. appreciate it. But that. I'm not going to make you an offer on it because I knew you I don't want to say fair. 300 bucks and it's worth 7,000 and yes. I'm cheating you out of a lot of money or it's worth only 300 bucks and, and I'm overpaying it. Yourself. You know, exactly. so I do understand. I just don't know enough. Now, I, on like the other I, hand, said, I knew you'd be fair. <laughs> on the other side, on the other hand, this book from from late 1800s, yes, I was able to find quite a few of them. It's out there depending on a condition between like 50 to 150 bucks, you okay. know? So, mm. not a whole lot of money, but still pretty collectible you now, know something like that if i have this one maybe i could do a little bit better take in this both of them what do you probably think? the better better, better than i than yes, i'll I know you're you. gonna give me straight you know, answers you know so what i mean yes yeah, so because, maybe that's a better move with the books sir because on this book the way it sits i think it's probably about 60 maybe 70 dollar book if i would sell it here right right so you can maybe at the right that. store yeah. maybe at the right store it would be worth more. You know what I mean? Like so and it why is don't the you Holy Bible, which is more valuable than any other exactly. book that was ever written. My so so <laughs> take those two back. Yes, sir. Okay. So and I'm gonna just scratch them from my list here. And the one the the one from 1664, I even didn't put a price okay, on it. Nothing. Fair enough. Just absolutely. Um, on the rest of the stuff. Yes, sir. Few things that I found here actually not big money. Surprisingly, I, I thought this medal, medal from oh, World's yeah. Fair was gonna bring some money. Okay. So are those, you know, chauffeur, <laughs> your grandfather's chauffeur uh, license pins. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of money. Just okay. just to give you idea, I had it pulled up here. Actually, that's the that's the one that I showed you. The, yeah, the, the you said, calendar yeah. was yeah. like 17. There's another one for 10 bucks. And I'm actually sure. giving you like 10 bucks on my sheet for it. You know what I mean? Okay. On everything, if I would buy the whole bundle from you here, everything that you brought, what were you thinking? What would you I'll need tell you to what get I out need. of it? I need $1,021 to get my electric and gas. And as close as you can come to that, I didn't really want to bring anything home because I'm getting ready to move to Colorado in a few months. And so as close as you can get to that, sir, Okay. like I said, just treat me fair. And that's all I can ask, man. I'm so, giving it up. <laughs> there is a couple pieces here, um, like the one on top, the... The Dobro or the banjos or... Well, the Dobro actually, I'm... I don't know. I can't pinpoint the year on this Dobro. Yeah, because yeah, I, I looked it up, and this one says Royale. A lot of them just say Dobro. I couldn't exactly. find that one that said so Royale. So I can't find the Royale yeah, either. I find plenty know, of Dobros all the way from like 30s, 40s to sure, 70s. Sure. You I mean, know? you get a general idea about it, but yeah, um, but it's hard to pinpoint, huh? So that's kind of like a question mark. If okay. it's Overall, it's still in a decent shape. Um, that might be something that it's kind of big question mark because it uh, maybe i'll get 200 bucks or maybe i will get 500 bucks right. out of it you know what i mean i don't know okay. i can't find anything on it okay to be honest with you i was at 800 dollars for everything actually i was a little bit more but since i'm giving to you that one book back so just if so you, you know. can get me any closer i'll walk away i wrote down actually 840. Um, if you can give me the nine man i'd be done and walk in and no questions asked I, at least that gets me closer, you know. Like you said, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time, man. Listen, one piece at a time. Yes, I'll, sir. I'll do eight fifty. I don't want to go any higher. Okay. There's a couple here that they're the rough yes, instruments, sir. you know, that it's like I think I gave you like fair numbers on some of this stuff. So yes, sir. I'll round it up at eight fifty. I don't want to go okay, any higher. Okay, I'll tell you what. So I'm gonna take these two back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And can I have this back too since it's really not worth yeah, that much? And I you only, call eight fifty. Call it a deal. You Done. Got it. Okay. And I'll tell you what, you think my stuff is interesting enough to make your YouTube video? <laughs> so I'm Maybe. gonna I'm gonna tell you right now. Everything that we showed here and we, we talked originally. Yes, sir. It is filmed. I knew that, yeah. Okay. I knew that coming in. And now our ne little negotiation is also filmed. 
-hmm. So if you are okay with Absolutely. me using this footage, I tried not to swear while it's... I was in here because <laughs> I knew you were. And it's still me. rolling. But <laughs> oh, that'd right. be great, awesome. man. Yes, sir. You need yeah. an ID, correct? I do. I saw that on your videos yesterday. <laughs> Guys, it's that time. We're giving Selena out and I got the video already. The word is, of course, Selena Gomez. And we're gonna hit continue. And it's going through all the comments. There was a lot of comments, guys. A lot of people want that record. So we have 399 comments with Selena Gomez. Let's pick a winner. And the winner is Christopher Wernett. Christopher Wernett. All right, Christopher, so you are the lucky winner of Selena, but wait, there's more. Whoa, we have two. There'll be another drawing. So the video is again plugged in here. We got again comments load up in the picker and I'm gonna hit for the second time for the second winner. And the winner is Peter Piper. Selena Gomez, Peter Piper. Chris and Peter, so you guys are the lucky winner of Selena Gomez LPs. Down below in the description, you're gonna find my email. Please shoot me an email, we're gonna exchange some information so I can verify it. it's you. And then both of these LPs are gonna be heading your way. Guys, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Yeah, some kind of goodbye song. You betcha, man. <laughs> And it's rolling round the bend And I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when But I'm stuck in most of the prison The time keeps dragging on When that train keeps on Down the sand and tongue When I was just a baby My mama told me to stop Always be a good boy Don't you ever play with God Shot a man in a needle But just to watch him die Just in time for heavy Yes, sir. You got the job. Uh, if I can have you autograph. You know, that was the first song my father taught me I played when I was five years old. It took, really? I, it was, oh, it was disastrous. <laughs> I got a little bit better, right? <laughs>